There were times when social gatherings were appreciated. We had group discussions, seminars. We could even give a high five, handshake, hug without having any fear of transmitting virus. We needed reasons to celebrate days when someone achieved something big. We called it success party. To mark the birthday of a person, we called it birthday party. To mark the union of two souls, we had marriages. Without any cap on people, we could invite. We celebrated festivals together by going to each other's houses. And when we did not have any reason to celebrate, we still celebrated and called them weekends. I really felt so much more sad. Seem normal to us. We only appreciate them once they are taken away. My 2020 has been better. I miss those days, gym going days. My mental condition wasn't really very good. It was tough. It was a roller coaster of emotions for much of the first months. Um, in uh, okay this year, I think being okay is what being good can be compared to because uh, at least we're all safe, and I haven't seen the worst of the year, which is in a way the best. I was rigorously following my workout from home, but I think um, in August, I guess, when I moved from my hometown. Uh, from Agra to here in Uttarakhand in Gaurseen. Although it will look very, you know, fascinating that you are working from hills, you are working from mountains. But I would like to make it a point here that um, because some of um, some of my audience came up to me saying that I am, we are really jealous of you that you are enjoying such good views. But I want to point out here that my mental condition wasn't really very good. during this um that's okay interesting point and on that note i want to like take this conversation further and paint the timeline from like mid july to like mid august uh, and that's exactly what happened with me too initially the introvert part of me was like oh i am this is so good i don't care about anyone like you know all i care about certain kind of projects that i want to do and i can be outside and no one is around me and so i'm super happy come mid july i my extrovert side of me is like what do we do like like i felt overwhelmed with like you know political scenario like uh, social injustice scenario uh, pandemic all this combined also affected my mental health so initially i was that person in my group who was the most paranoid and was made fun of every day was at least for two months every day we would check the numbers Well, it went from fifty to hundred to five hundred to a thousand, and now I no longer do that because I know how much of a toll that took upon me. Um, it did affect my mental health a lot. You know how some people, when they are stressed out, they listen to music, or you, you go to the gym when you're stressed out, right? I realize that if I take a math textbook out and start solving problems, that is very relaxing for me. Throughout. I really felt so much more sad. It was it was definitely hard to cope with it. Um I think having a few good people in my life really did help me at least survive it. <laughs> I I had some counseling sessions. Um I wound up getting diagnosed with depression and then I got some pills for it. So through that process I think I I'm I'm better off now than maybe I would have been. before so we are doing a lot of things in repetitive loops and when that loop is taken away people get uncomfortable i think that's one of the things that happened with a lot of people so i used to kick box uh pre covid which was taken away from me uh so i instead of that i now get got enrolled in a strings project which is like a, a small community at university of south carolina and they teach people uh different uh instruments uh so it's so i'm currently you know learning uh violin so yeah let's see how that goes <laughs> a few days ago we got home a puppy and uh, i remember since the puppy has come into the house the vibration of the house has changed we have uh, we luckily have a helper at home uh, my mom uh, and uh, my dad are really fond of dogs in general but having a puppy really really got those laughs out of you know a normal day 
uh, on a usual day we would not be going into someone else's room and you know sharing a story of how stupid a puppy can be what does no social interaction does to people like us who are ambiverts how did you feel about it so i am being super super cautious and i'm not mm-hmm. going out and i'm not meeting new people um so yeah after a point of time i it it became so um so hard to handle right right um, right yes yeah exactly initially i was really happy um, for me it was i want to i wanted to make good content for people on youtube uh, i wanted to make happy videos so that right. the feelings that occur in my mind that you know things are not going as as per i've desired i didn't want this to happen right now i had my own aspirations in this year that i wanted mm-hmm. to achieve but i'm not able to achieve so i thought why not to you know um feel that happiness inside myself and spread mm-hmm. it to people mm-hmm. so that's how i came up with this happy series on my youtube channel and then after a point of time that was Which working you can find it here <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> also after a point of time i felt that wasn't working for me so i started creating more informative stuff uh, regarding government policies how are they um, you know handling the situation of corona in high school i was doing some research about communication and how you know there's texting as communication and then there's sending snapchats and that's slightly better because then you could see your face and then video calling and then actually face to face so what i was learning is that the the more interaction you can have physical is the best because you can actually be close with them rather than just talk online and sometimes if you're just texting you can't even tell how they're saying something and so you could even misinterpret what they're saying So I think it's especially important to be able to be in person with someone because that's really how you build a closer connection and we all need a few close connections at least. So mm-hmm. I definitely think that online communication cannot completely replace being in person. We're going to all go crazy and I think some of us have already been. <laughs> I uh, worked on an article Uh, on medical research data by WHO. All right, you can put the article here, guys. Go and check that out. Yeah, that's a shameless plug. I'm going to do that. Now, if friends ask me to hang out, I will say, uh, what are we doing? How many people uh are we going to wear masks? You know, are we going to be able to social distance? Like it's so it's kind of weird having to ask that and then if they're not going to, I have to say no or I have to find a good way to do something else. So That's a bit challenging with friends. This year I have had less toxic drama to deal with from people. I would always wonder how it would be to live with mom and dad again, but either one of them was traveling or I wasn't in I wasn't stationed here. But this period I have cherished in how every day I would think of how beautiful and I would also think of okay this should not end soon because I'm getting to spend this time with my mom. to to be ha- to be able to decide what to eat for lunch again something so simple as that was was normal for us like it used to be when we were little during the pandemic you have to learn how to be inside your own head a lot of the time things that we take granted for uh things that are normal to us that seem normal to us we only appreciate them when they are taken away since i had so much of time in hand i could give that time to my youtube channel so that i hope that it will pay off sometime in the near future but yes <laughs> that is a good thing <laughs> well you know i hope it uh, pays out and um, i'm i'm super confident that it will <laughs> i hope so Thank too. everyone seeing this subscribe okay and hit like button <laughs> it takes a lot of courage to talk about your feelings these people did it now it's your turn How are you feeling? Tell me in the comment section below. Yeah. But with your uh, content, I wanted to really, really tell you, and I think this is the best opportunity to convince others who aren't. And I, I'll be surprised to to know if people aren't either they're new to your channel right now watching this, but your each each of your videos have been uh, new and tasteful in content. They are factual. I know that 
you are driven by those facts and you put in a lot of effort the kind of editing that you've been doing the kind of upgradation each video has seen i think that goes to say that you're putting in a lot more of effort along with the job that you're anyway doing so it really excites me to see where this is going it's going to multiply and people are going to enjoy watching every video just don't stop just keep going you're you're really good at it and everyone else please like share and subscribe to her channel 1 2 3 do it right now <laughs> <laughs> i thought we'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay last chance okay 1 2 3 do it right now no <laughs> what the <laughs> tune excitement did it dikhai a few moments later no that wasn't good ek bar oh my god last time six and a half hours later like this video subscribe do, do it, it right, right now, now.